Shot clock at four. Ball's got to do something with it. 24 second clock winding down. Fires up a three. It's good. And the foul. And Mike but he grabs, his left, he grabs his left foot. Like you say, Mark. And they'll probably look at that as a flagrant. So Paul comes up hobbling a bit. Knocks down another three. He's got 16 points now. Clearly led with that left foot, and that's in the landing area. Whether or not it's enough to call it a flagrant foul, and the officials will take a peek at it. And this all stems back. Remember the San Antonio Golden State game in the playoffs. Several do this years. teams, as far as this, he, he clearly goes underneath Chris Paul. I'm not saying it's intentional, but it's a flagrant way left to where he landed. He's underneath Chris Paul, forcing Paul. Twist that left ankle. Well, that's exactly why that was put in. Let's hear from Mark Davis. On this reckless closeout, the foul has been ruled as unnecessary. Flagrant foul, penalty one. All right, flagrant foul, penalty one. There you have it. Flagrant one, and that's clearly why it's put in there so the shooter does not get injured. This was the play that, that turned it around, and Leonard did not return, landed right on the foot when you leave with that foot in the landing area. How good are our people having plays like that locked and loaded? And that was Mark Davis who called that one who was on this game and 